104.1 KRVE, it's hey. Special K hey. and Kevin Quinn. We are live backstage with Bahari at Hello. the Billboard Music Awards, and they are dressed in a whitish, creamish, <laughs> uh, both. Catastrophe. Yeah, <laughs> no, no catastrophe, but it is, it is before, um, Labor Day. No, it is before Memorial Day. So is yes. that is that allowed? Oh, oh, it's allowed. Well, you know, the thing is, is we have decided as a band that we're only allowed to wear white. I mean, I mean the off-tones kind of, they're allowed. The nudes are fine. So we're going to see what we're going to do after Labor Day. We're not too sure yet. Maybe we'll just, I don't know. What, you guys we can't wear white. And have a, is, is it a democratic process or what? No, so it was no, kind it's of just a, a conversation. Conversation. <laughs> yeah, it was just like a group decision that we wanted to do to really show that it's about our music and our message and be a blank canvas and, and also spread positivity. makes us look like a band, so it's just yeah. kind of something we decided to do. Tell me about um, one of the, the silliest or funniest things that's happened recently on the road with you guys. <laughs> Sydney fell last night oh <laughs> for no like, reason. We were standing we were in standing line, in line. <laughs> outside of a hotel and everyone must have thought that she was just highly intoxicated and she wasn't at all, nothing. And she just Completely was walking like and was standing so still hard. And just fell, just like on her butt. <laughs> I just know. fell backwards. on her butt. I've never seen you like fall like that. Like it was so, <laughs> it was hysterical. <laughs> I, I felt like the ground behind me was a bit higher than the ground we were standing on, and I was like looking for the level <laughs> ground because I thought it was just like one of the poles holding up the lines. And I was like, I s kept moving back, <laughs> and then I was like, oh no, it's time. And she <laughs> just flapped her Oops, wings. I'm not even talking into this. I said it was amazing. It was amazing. You, I've never seen her get up so quick. Did y'all's family uh, go along for the ride with you on on any of your tours? No. 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 My oh family's gosh. in Africa. <laughs> My family yeah. still lives back home in Kenya. So and maybe one day I want to bring them. Mine are not invited either. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> mom. Yes. What is your, do, do each of y'all have a nickname from your mom and from your dad? Do oh, they, yeah. they call yes. you anything? Hers is weird. Mine you? is Goonie Bird. Where did that come from? I love, isn't it the big bird on um, Elmo? Big yeah. Bird? I called it Goonie Bird when I was little. I don't know where I got it from, but my mom calls me Goonie. Goonie. Goonie Bird. Mine was like the Rubinator. <laughs> the Rubinator? Yes. Sounds like a sandwich. Uh, yeah, I don't know why, but my mom. Rubinator. Because oh, yeah. I was always, I have, I was, I thought I was going to be a superhero, and I was little, and my name was Ruby, so she used to call me the Rubinator, and I was like, yeah! I was a really fat baby. She was. <laughs> like, it was no joke. really <laughs> bad, and so my dad called me Meat and Taters <laughs> until my sophomore year in high school, when I was like, please stop. And, like, We're very southern, too, bet, right? so yeah. yeah, I'd be like, Meat and Taters! And then I was like, no, you can't call me that anymore. He's like, okay, I'll call you Limbs. I was like, Limbs. Just call Limbs. me by my, the name you named Thumb. me. I can see why you don't invite him on the road with you. <laughs> no, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Love you, Dad. <laughs> if um, if if y'all could throw a parade like right here, what Ooh. would it, what would it be for or about? Having fun. Fun, fun. Yes. We have tons beach of vibes. Coasters. We bring okay. the beach. Yeah, we'll just to make Vegas. roller coasters. Yeah, no, you can put it. You can put that in there. Yeah, roller yes. coasters, the beach. Lot we love food. Yeah. Water. Maybe like a pool pool party. I love water. Okay, yeah, exactly. bring a t toe to pool around. Yeah, it, you know, kind of gives it gives me an idea of your character and you know what, yeah. what you would throw in there. And I think we would also just want to try. I mean, let's say people had to pay to come to our little parade. We would just try and raise as much money as we could so that we could give it to some sort of conservation charity. or charity yeah. or something like that. And maybe even do like a no phone thing, but have photo booths all around so oh people yeah. can Polaroid get their pictures. Yeah. Still text to them. They can have their pictures, but they're not on their phones. I think time. people would flip out. What charity? What 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 charitable uh, endeavors are are y'all most enthused about? Um, I think what we're most enthused about, well, especially me and they're getting into it now, especially because I've been telling them a lot about it, is um, wildlife conservation in Africa, um, and really that's something we strongly believe in and something we really want to just try and raise awareness for. Well, here in America, we have dentists that go over and shoot uh, elephants. Not, and yeah, I heard about cool. that you know, actually. Lions. Not and okay. Such. Oh, he, he, he shot, like, the pride, like, the, the lead he did, lion. He did, he did, he did. It was the last black main. He was lion. one yeah. of the most famous lions in Zimbabwe, and he did shoot him, which is very sad. So sad. Rude.